Hello and welcome to another Docker tutorial. Uh, today we're going to look at installing Docker for Mac OS. Uh, now the page that I'm on here is docs.docker.com forward slash installation forward slash Mac. I'll put a link in the description below. Now Docker for Mac um, and also the Docker Toolbox comes with uh, both Docker Compose, Docker Machine as well as the Docker Demons itself. And now when you're installing Docker for uh, for a Mac operating system, you're offered two variants. So the first one is this one here, Docker for Mac, and the second is the Docker Toolbox. Both come with Docker Machine, Docker Compose, and the Docker Daemon, but they're set up slightly differently and have different configuration. Um, the first one here, Docker for Mac, this is the newest offering for the Mac. Um, it, requ it requires uh, the latest... Um, uh, Mac OS, so that's Yosemite or newer. Um, whereas the Docker Toolbox requires a, a previous version, which is Mountain Lion. Now, the major difference between Docker for Mac as well as the Docker uh, and compared to the Docker Toolbox is uh, the virtualization that is used. So, Docker for Mac uses HyperKit, and therefore it uh, it can't be um, you can't use it with VirtualBox prior to 4.3.30. Uh, so that must not be installed because it's using HyperKit to provision virtual boxes, uh, sorry, um, Docker machines and so forth. Whereas Docker Toolbox actually comes with uh, a virtual box. It uses virtual box to provision Docker machines. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to install Docker for Mac, the first one here. And that's because the version that of, of the Mac operating system that I'm using is uh, uh, Mac OS Sierra, so it's one of the latest uh, operating systems at the moment, uh, at time of recording. So let's uh, click on this link, getting started with Docker for Mac. Now the first thing to note is even though in the previous page it said that uh, it required Yosemite, down here in the important notes it's saying that Docker for Mac requires OS X El Capitan 10.11 or newer. Um, now El Capitan came out uh, after Yosemite and we're saying here that um, Yosemite is uh, supported but has a limited support. So if you have Yosemite and you're trying to install um, Docker for Mac then I would click on what you need to know before you install for a full explanation and list of prerequisites. So we have two, uh, two channels to choose from, the stability channel, the stable channel, as well as the beta channel. So the stable has the GA version of the Docker engine, whereas the beta channel has some experimental features that you can uh, take a look on GitHub. Today we're gonna use the stable channel because for my use case, I need to keep this uh, as stable as possible. Perhaps in the future, I will install the beta channel to try out the experimental features down the road. So let's just scroll down here and it says what you need to know before you install. So the relationship between Docker machine as well as system requirements. So again, it's saying that uh, we need OSX Al Capitan, um, even though Yosemite uh, has uh, has uh, limited support. Um, and uh, it's again, just double checking that VirtualBox prior to version 4.3.30 must not be installed. So the first thing we need to do is uh, click on here to get Docker for Mac. And that's going to install um, or download the, uh, the the DMG, the Docker image. And if we scroll down here, we can see how we install it. So we need to double click on the DMG. So I'm just gonna open that up, uh, open that up like so. Double click on the DMG. Just bring that down here. like so let's uh, close that down okay so we need to drag that into here uh, like so and then open up so what do we do we open up the um, ah yes the launch pad that's fine and then open up docker double click that now it's going to give you a warning saying that the application has been downloaded from the internet so all you do is click open and uh, we are happy to have you, that's nice. Now I'll click next. And then it's gonna ask for the password, that's fine. So just off of screen, I'm just gonna enter in the password. Okay, so now that's being installed, 
Let's just close that down. We can now do Docker version, and we can see that we have the Docker version installed. We should also have Docker compose as well as Docker machine, like so. Okay, so that's a, a very quick uh, demonstration of how we can install Docker Machine, Docker Compose, as well as Docker itself on Mac OS X, or Mac, I should say Mac OS Sierra. Um, down here it says that um, we have some uh, some icons in the uh, in the toolbar uh, where we can click and change the preferences. You didn't see any of this because this was off the uh, off off screen as I was doing it, but um, there is this little uh, this whale with the container icon at the top of the screen that you can click. You can also change the privacy settings. So this is uh, this is the version stuff that I was doing just to prove that we had the, the thing installed. Um, and here it gives an example of how we can create an Nginx web server and so forth. So I won't get into any of that right now. Uh, but what I will mention is that there is a preferences section uh, that you can click. If you clicked on the, the whale thing in the toolbar, if I was to do that now, um, and then hit preferences, bring that down to show you. Um, we can see here that we have this um, uh, privacy setting. We can change the CPU. So at the moment it's using four uh, and the memory allocation. So we can change that as much as we want, uh, depending on what we what memory we have. So let's bring that down, that down to, to four. Um, again, we can do some advanced stuff. Um, it's just asking me to apply the settings. Uh, so we can include some insecure registries. So if you followed um, some of my Docker tutorials before, I've uh, explained what Docker registries are, um, as well as registry mirrors and so forth. File sharing, uh, we can change the uh, what is actually shared to the Docker machines. Um, there is also some privacy um, bits and pieces so by default it sends usage information as well as crash reports and of course the uninstall restart or reset um, so we can restart the the the, the um, service by hitting restart like that but I'm not gonna do that right now okay so that's a, a very quick explanation and demonstration of installing docker compose docker machine as well as docker using the docker for Mac OS if you found this helpful, then do like the video. If you think someone else will find this useful as well, please do share it around. Subscribe to get the next tutorials as well as the web chats I hold every Friday. Thanks again for watching, and I shall speak to you again soon. Thank you. Bye.